Hey guys, quick little video, real quick. Um, as you guys may or may not have seen that the um, Supreme Court has decided to take on a actually a pro-gun argument in the Supreme Court uh, from the state of New York. It's unbelievable that we're in a time when we have to uh, celebrate that our own Supreme Court of the United States is actually taking on a case they should have taken. The reason why I'm so optimistic about it is the fact that the Supreme Court has denied taking on so many cases, any, any kind of case, whether it's pro-gun or anti-gun, they've denied any cases over the last several years. This is one of the first notable cases that the Supreme Court has agreed to take on in quite some time. So to me, this is a very positive first step. I do have confidence in our Supreme Court right now prior to being stacked uh, by the Democrat party. But yeah, I mean, let's let's see what they do, man. If they're gonna hear this case, and it's a sad, sad, sad day in America when we have to uh, wonder uh, what the outcome of a case is gonna be in a particular state like New York, to wonder if for some reason, they're gonna allow the state to arm themselves outside of the home. That's essentially what this case is. It's to give a person in New York the right to actually defend themselves and carry a gun outside their own home in the state of New York. So it, it's, a, it's a pathetic, sad, disgusting thing that we're even talking about this, having to make it to the Supreme Court. The fact that the lower courts have allowed it to get this far is incredible to me that it's been upheld this long, but that's what kind of world we're living in right now. So we do have an opportunity here, kind of like the Heller decision where it was kind of a big deal to set a pretty major precedent. So keep your fingers crossed guys. Um, this may be, you know, a positive for us in the gun community.